All right, different video today. Today, I went to the Osprey Valley Open, part of the Ford Knit Cup near Orangeville, Ontario. It happens to be close to where I live. And as you probably already know, this is the site where Micah Morris was given his sponsor exemption uh, to play in this. So we caught up with Micah on this is his first hole. And we did the first six holes, followed him along and took some footage. And I'm going to bring that to you now. This is his third shot on the par five opening hole. We didn't catch up with him until this moment in time. So I uh, saw his third approach shot and this putt, pretty lengthy putt uphill. Uh, it, it, it looked tough uh, for birdie and he left it short, but he was able to clean up that putt and made his par. And now on to hole two, beautiful hole here. He's taking his two iron. Uh, doesn't use driver a lot on these first opening six holes. Probably playing the smart play, keeping it in play, and he used the two iron beautifully. So I've been to a PGA Tour event before, but never a PGA Tour Canada event. It was much more laid back. And the, some of the benefits included being able to walk the fairways behind the players, which I enjoyed doing. Uh, it was very low key, very relaxed, and you were very close to the action. So I highly recommend going to one if you get the chance. Now here's Micah's approach on number two. He doesn't have much left here. He hits a decent shot, but it ends up being a little left and deep of the hole. So he'll put himself in the rough behind the hole. And this rough is pretty thick. You'll see that he struggles with it a couple of times. This is the first time, leaving himself a little bit of work left for the par. A decent stroke on it, but is not able to drop it for the par. So he's able to tap in and moves to plus one for the tournament. This next hole is a picturesque downhill dogleg left. And once again, Mike is just going to elect to hit his two iron and puts it in perfect position down the left-hand side. You can tell by his body language here, he didn't like this. It ends up being okay. It's on the green. Um, but he definitely was looking for more on this approach shot. Once again, a pretty lengthy uphill birdie putt. Runs it a little bit by, but he was able to make the comebacker to uh, ensure his par. Now on this hole, the players were pretty far away. It's a 367 yard par four. And again, Michael elects just to hit his two iron here. And you won't be able to tell from the video at all, but you'll just have to trust me that he puts himself in great position on the fairway, as you'll soon see as we set up for his second shot. Quality swing here by Micah, setting up a very makeable birdie look. This was one of two really good chances for Bird on the front six holes. And he just leaves it short. Really good look though, really good roll, uh, just a touch short. This next hole is really challenging, 205 yard par three into the wind. And right before this, Micah was talking to one of his playing partners uh, about YouTube stuff. Believe it or not, they were chatting about the guys on YouTube. So that was uh, interesting to listen to and watch and take in. Makes a pretty good swing here, but he was calling for it to sit down almost immediately. And as a result, ends up at the back of the green, again in this thick rough. And as I said earlier, he struggled out of this rough in these first six holes. And you're going to see uh, the evidence of that again here as he sends it, comes flying out of there way too long, goes back to the front edge of the green on the fringe, and has to try to make this now from the fringe for par, and that's a pretty big ask. Left it short, 
setting up this short putt to save his bogey. And he knocks it in to move to plus two. Pretty tough hole on the opening six here. This is a 500 yard uphill into the wind par four. And Micah hits his drive really well here again. Can't pick it up at all on camera, but you'll see where he ends up. He's um, right behind the 196 yard marker. So he probably has about 204, 205 yards in. Uh, has an iron in his hand and he hits an, another really quality shot here. This is probably the best played hole in the opening six. Gets it closer than his playing competitors and sets up another nice birdie look. Michael will clean that up for his par and he'll be plus two through the opening six holes. I'm looking to see how he documents this on his channel. Thanks for checking out our channel and we will see you next time on Golf Quest.